guys, I'm Satchel Snow and this right here is the black-tailed rattlesnake. These guys are an iconic rattlesnake species. They have that really poofy head, that triangular shape with those massive venom glands right behind the eyes. Really conspicuous with that diagonal stripe from the eye to the mouth and this really black tail. That's where they get their name. It's uniformly black. So they have this beautiful kind of patterning, that blotched look, and then it goes into that uniformly black tail. So a really cool looking rattlesnake and one that's definitely to be respected. These guys are found throughout Arizona to central Texas and down to Mexico. So they have a pretty good range and within that range they are very variable in coloration which means they come in a few different forms. So this guy's a little lower elevation one. He'd be found in more desert scrubland whereas they can be found up to 6,000 feet in elevation. And those ones are gonna be a little more golden yellow in color and live in rocky outcrops. So these guys like drier areas. They don't really like water, but anywhere where there's rocks and dry desert grassland areas, these guys are gonna love being around. And so these guys are one of the more docile rattlesnakes. And I know I just jinxed myself there, but these guys are very, very uninclined to rattle. They're more quickly to just get out of your way, avoid contact, but they really don't rattle that much. So that's what makes it really dangerous because you can be right near one and it won't even really rattle. So he's in that defensive S posture, classic of a rattlesnake. I'm gonna try, oh, there he goes. A little bit of a rattle by accident. So you can see him sensing the air right there with that black forked tongue. He's really relaxed right now. It's a little hot though, so he might get a little heated. And he's an ectotherm, so he's gonna get heated up and be a little more active when he gets hotter. These guys can get up to four feet in size, but that would be a pretty big one. He's about three feet long, so this is about average size, but still a really fat, thick-bodied snake. Classic of a rattlesnake species. And he's once again being very chilly, sticking out that black forked tongue, seeing what's going on, smelling the air, smelling what I am. He knows I'm a human, so he knows this might be a predator but I'm just trying to show you guys how beautiful of an animal this guy is. And while there's no need to fear these guys, you can see I'm handling him and he's not even striking. I do not recommend doing this, but I'm doing this to show you guys that this is a beautiful snake that doesn't deserve to be as feared as it is and killed as often as they are. So being a larger sized adult, this guy's gonna mainly be eating rats and mice, small little mammals like that. And so one of my favorite things about the black-tailed rattlesnake is that the males will defend his territory and his female from other males. So once he's mated, he'll guard her from other rattlesnakes and really doesn't want anything to do with people. The only thing he's gonna be fighting is other male rattlesnakes. And the females have been recorded to guard their babies for up to a month after they're born. So up to their first shed, which most snakes, they just lay their eggs or give birth and bounce. So that's a really unique thing about the black-tailed rattlesnake that the mother actually shows any signs of care for her babies. And so the black-tailed rattlesnake, a really beautiful little snake right here and one that's very docile. So not out to get you, really just wants to get out of your way and just defend his turf from those other rattlesnakes. So if you guys did enjoy this video and learned a lot about this guy, definitely drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more untamed stuff like this. And until next time, thank you guys so much. See you next time.